So be asking Spirit to show me messages here concerning past, current, and future. Now, of course, not everything that I'm going to see that Spirit gives me that I get tapped into today in this reading is going to resonate with every Libra. That is just impossible. So take the parts that do resonate. Leave the parts that don't to someone else that is meant to hear at this time. Spirit will throw me a card, and you, that is usually for someone specific. If you happen to be that person specific that I'm picking up on right now, Libra, just know I have no control over that. But if you want to look more into this person, this situation, check your moon, your rising Venus placements, or you can request or ask for a personal reading. If you have any questions about your person, how do they currently think and feel? Will things likely move forward? Will you guys ever get together or get back together again? Are they hiding something? Are they lying to you? Do they have good intentions? Those are most of the commonly asked questions I get. Okay, so let's take a look here. How does this person currently think and feel when it comes to Libra, please? Thank you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm also getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius very strongly. Okay. Well, something here happened between the two of you. Yeah, so definitely Libra. They feel like they screwed some things up between the two of you. They don't know here if, you know, the damage here obviously it's been done but they don't know here if it's permanent they kind of been thinking in their head maybe they said something to you or they had done something here that they're not really proud of i kind of get your you libra dealing with the past person they can't believe this happened and i kind of get here this person does want to reconcile this person has been thinking a lot about you and watching you also Okay, watching you. Yeah, look at this, Eight of Cups. Thinking about something that happened in the past. I, I kind of get here, this is maybe someone who um, isn't really... <sighs> Libra, this person's like, what have I done? How do I make things right with Libra? They're, they're in their heads thinking about you. This could be someone you were in a relationship with not all of you that's true um i kind of see you some of you were in a long-term commitment with this person some of you commit we never really quite got there but it was kind of on the way there you guys pretty much felt like this was a very intense intense connection six of pentacles with the knight of wands both of you guys <laughs> came together with like it was matched intensity matched intensity six of pentacles here talks about uh, feelings being reciprocated you know it's really balanced three on this side three on this side okay um it's a very balanced energy that's what it represents in tarot just equal giving and sharing but this is equal desire equal intensity like i want you i want you bad um and they can't Stop thinking about something they said or had done. Or maybe you did something here. Tower moment, nine of swords. Libra, your past person here. Kind of wishes they can fix something here with you. They are actually getting scared. They're anxious, they're worried, they're scared right now, maybe that you run off to someone else. This person I'm kind of getting here, they kind of want to step their game up a little bit. If you guys haven't communicated, I can't, I kind of see here, maybe there was no communication for some time. This person is really wanting to break the silence. 
okay? But I am getting here with Nine of Swords. This person is still a little bit intimidated at this time, okay? These are all the thoughts that they have, worries that they have. You know, they're in their heads about the situation right now. Like, will Libra even answer? Will Libra even respond? Will Libra even agree to meet me up, see me, talk to me? Or am I still blocked? Am I blocked? Or can will I be able to get through? Okay, tell me about this Nine of Swords here. It could be a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. <clears throat> tell me about this tower, please. Tell me about this tower, please. I have one contact out of my eye right now because I'm just, I have allergies. <laughs> I have a really puffy eye and I can barely see. Yeah, they they feel bad for something they did. Um, this person kind of, either something they said, something they did. We have the Seven of Swords with the Four of Cups. You know, they got away. They lied about something here. Okay. They pretended they didn't have feelings. They pretended like they didn't care anymore when they really did with the four cups I'm seeing here. They even try to talk to someone about it. And this is someone here trying to pick them up like, hey, don't feel too bad about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know, it's all going to be all right. And I kind of get here, this person right here. Okay, Libra, this person is just like really devastated, disappointed in themselves, what they said. How they reacted. Wow, behind this is the Ten of Cups. Is they still want to be with you. This is a very clear message here. Okay, death to the Four of Wands with the Sun. They're optimistic here that maybe you might give them a chance. But then they're also not very sure. Um, some of you guys may know this person. You guys may have worked together. Um, you guys may have mutual friends. Okay, I'm also getting Aries in here. Leo, and then we have the Two of Cups, wow, Two of Cups, Strength, and Ace of Cups, and Hierophant again. <sighs> okay, so, some of you, this didn't happen because someone here was in a relationship, but someone here is also breaking up and just had a recent breakup or is going through a breakup, will be going through a breakup soon, they're coming towards you. That was very, very clear here, okay? But they're still kind of nervous, I'm seeing, about reaching out to you. Let's take a look here and see what's going on right now with Libra's current person, new person. If you met someone new recently, you have no interest in the past, and you might be thinking about giving somebody here a chance, you may actually decide to move forward with them or see them again. How is this person currently thinking and feeling about you? Do they have good intentions? And will the two of you actually have something pretty solid and kind of cute? Let's take it. I am seeing yes. I am seeing yes. I kind of get you guys have a lot in common. Or you guys also have a lot to talk. The more you get to know this person... The more you guys feel, I mean, with the lovers in the two of cups, wow. Wow. What is this, Libra? Yeah, those of you interested in a new person, they're into you. They are so into you. They're going to try to maybe play it off like they're not that into you, but the cards here coming through right now does not show that this person, I mean, <laughs> They, they may act like they're not that interested here, but you can also kind of tell that they are. So they might actually try to confuse you and give you mixed signals, but don't be fooled by that. What's coming out here is, uh, this could be your boss also, it's kind of your boss, manager, co-worker. But I'm seeing your king of pentacles, three of pentacles here. This is someone here who also also, also works a lot. Um... They um, may have their own business. They might be self-employed. This person is, I want to say, 
have gotten pretty used to being single. Have gotten pretty used to being single. But you're taking them out of this um, isolation. You know, they don't really have a desire here to stay single much longer. You're kind of wearing them down. You're kind of giving them that. Um, yeah, look at this change. You're making this person, however way they used to view relationships, maybe they didn't, they couldn't commit to someone previous to you, prior to you. But now you are taking them out of that. I just want to be in, you know, that single space, mental space. Wow. With lovers again. Libra, it could be a fire sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I get you to, I mean, this is a soulmate. I have twin flames here. Okay, this is going to feel <laughs> kind of heavy, kind of fast, pretty intense. It's kind of like you find yourself doing like the weirdest things. You're like, do I even really even know myself anymore? You know, you kind of, just, why am I saying this? Why am I doing this? Why am I acting this way? I never do this for anybody else. You've never really quite done this before. You're making this person feel some type of way doing things that they've never felt before. If they were, cause I'm getting here, that King of Pentacles energy and spirit showing me here with the wheel of fortune. This person was he or she wanting to just focus on work. They didn't see themselves getting into a relationship not anytime soon, but with the maybe they did kind of have a thing with someone in the past. But it never really it wasn't like someone they wanted to commit to. And now you're making them feel all these feelings here that they're not quite used to, that they haven't felt in a while. And this is them wanting to get into a commitment now. And considering it, oh my god, look at this. Four of Wands just lit out. You guys know that card. This is my commitment card getting into a relationship, the 1111, which, you know, everyone comes together. They're all celebrating. They're doing the damn thing, you know? And that Six of Pentacles energy here. See, this person's like, yeah, I want this. I want to take care of Libra. Um, I want to get involved with Libra. I want to. I want to lose my single. Give up my singlehood. And, and and yeah, I don't want this bachelor bachelor lifestyle. I don't. I don't. I don't want to date anybody else. I don't want a commitment here. I get your person was very picky, very very selective. This could be an Aries, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person, wow, it's like dating season or what? Okay, those of you Librans who have um, nobody in your past that you want to be with or you haven't really met anyone really interesting or anyone new to make you feel this type of way or even find interesting at this time, let's see your spirit as someone better lined up for you. I love the smell of this candle. It's like pumpkin spice. Okay. About Libra's new person. If Libra is wondering here, should they just drop an X? Or should they give up on this person? Is there someone else who's coming along that's better for Libra? Yeah, Six of Wands is a victory card. Oh my god, you guys all three have, yes, 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 past person, they want you back. They've been thinking about you wanting to reconcile, but a little bit more nervous about maybe what you might say, what you might think, if you might respond, reach out, and that kind of stuff. Present person saying, yes, you're taking them out of this headspace of if they said no before to other people, it's not a no to you. You know, it's kind of a feeling here that they couldn't even, they don't even know what they're feeling right now because they didn't think that they would fall for anybody so soon or fall anyone again. Those of you who have no past or 
um, current person right now. You guys get major victory here. Major victory celebration, Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups, Princess of Cups, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, victory. Yeah, Libra, if you want someone new in your life, this could also be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. You guys become friends first. You guys really become friends and it's like you guys just enjoy doing your everyday activities together whether that be gym whether that be um you know hiking on adventures you guys they're gonna really make things fun for you and i'm also kind of getting here this person is not only just gonna get to know you get to know you things are going to pick up like really quick you know it's just immediately <sighs> don't know what this is going on I mean, you guys, and oh, I can't make this reading up, but I just, I love it. It's just, I'm so shocked right now. It's like, it has to be dating scenes, and love is in the air for a lot of people right now, apparently. Okay, Libra, new love. <laughs> Look at this. New love, honeymoon. I told you, things are going to move very quickly. You do deserve love, so don't think that no love is coming for you. You have a sign in, of Libra in your chart somewhere, and you're like, I'm never going to find love. You're, you're losing hope on either a past person, don't know how you feel about a current person, you're not feeling that attraction, not feeling the chemistry, finding them kind of boring, maybe they're not the right person for you, there will be someone better, you're not going to be single for long, whether that's someone here you've been wanting for a very long time, someone's had a change of heart recently, I really want to be with you, telling you guys right now, and they may have even treated you badly for somebody, I don't know, so that's completely up to you guys. Really up to you if you want to take someone back. If they, you know, some things you can't, some things you can't negotiate with. Some things you can try to work on. Some things are just a a big no for me. So I, I know some of you guys may feel the same way. But hey, I was reading up on their energy here towards you, not about what you were gonna do. Okay. But I'm getting here. There's definitely people from your past trying to return, going to return, and they're feeling kind of sometimes, yeah, really bad about it. Ten of Wands with the Hangman. This is uh, what I was speaking about the past person here, Libra. They feel like they put themselves here. Okay. They've done something here that really just. They, they have to get themselves out of this mess. And that's what they want to do now. They've been thinking a lot about this situation with the hangman. They're looking at things now from a different perspective. Okay. <clears throat> with the sun coming out so many times, you guys could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun is also the happiest card in the deck. This could be an Aries. This could be the person you've been wanting for a very long time. Libra, this is a person who you've been crushing on, hoping that you, this person would see the situation differently, you know, your way. Kind of give this a chance and stop fighting it, stop resisting it. Okay, someone here, Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy. Someone here had a commitment issues. Okay, they, it wasn't that they didn't know they liked you or wanted you. They just had some fear surrounding commitments. But <laughs> whether you're going to take the past person, current person, or the new person back, Libra, I do see a bunch of men, women <laughs> coming your way. Okay. Um, let's close up this reading. I love this for you guys. Please let me know in the comment box what this is. I hope this more resonates with you guys than it does to me. Um also, reach out for a personal reading. I feel like I'm just picking on someone here very specific. Um, kind of having trust issues. Don't really know what to make out of this situation. Right? If someone has broken your heart. I want to say, Libra, someone here broke your heart. This whole, this, this whole thing is changing. I don't know why I wanted to say system. The whole system is changing. 
Um, anyways. Great. Wow, great fortune and unexpected income for you guys. Libra, stop worrying. There's nothing to worry about. Financially, emotionally, spirits like saying you guys are in good hands. This month, things are going to start picking up for you guys now until the end of the month. You're going to get someone here who's going to be helping you out, giving you a loan, or just you'll be finding some random checks in the mail. Like, hey, by the way, we meant to, you know, give you this. You overpaid on something. You're like, what? <laughs> you know, unexpected income. Some of you guys will be getting, if you're self-employed, getting new clients, getting more orders, you know, building your business up. Maybe there will be a collaboration. Unexpected income also for some of you who have been looking for a job or feeling really disheartened by what where you're currently working, wanting to leave all of a sudden, someone here is like, I know a guy, you know, or I know someone here who's looking for somebody to hire and they pay me a damn well. And something that you really enjoy doing here, too, with the great fortune. I mean, this isn't just small money that's going to get you through you know, some lunch money, some chunk change. This is something here where I'm getting generational wealth. Like you get so into this do this thing, this project, you know, for yourself that it's like a past, passion project taking off and it's your side job become your main hustle, you know, where you can drop the nine to five or, you know, if you're happy at your nine to five, some people do prefer. I mean, me being self-employed, I gotta tell you, it has its pros and its cons. You never get to see anybody. <laughs> so unless you, like me, are an introvert, some people do prefer, you know, staying home. But the sucky thing, even it drives me a little bit insane sometimes, is that I never see anybody. <laughs> I'm always, that's why I, I talk my ass off with you, because I really don't <laughs> have anyone else to talk to. And I don't ever go out or, you know, I mean, I do go out. I mean, I'm not a complete hermit. But, you know, you don't have that day-to-day -day interactions with people, you know. You know, and that's something I do miss sometimes. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's different for everybody. Watch out also for somebody not, I don't know, if you have suspicions here, someone might be, um, I don't know why I'm getting house and thief. Lock up your items, lock up your car, make sure you guys are looking after your belongings, okay? Um, someone here could be asking you for money with no intentions on repaying back or something like that or maybe taking something from you when you're not looking I don't want you guys to get so in your head about it or worried but um, I think you're going to be alright you're going to definitely be alright Libra is there anything else I need to tell you guys uh, let's get one more advice here from the spirit this is a great, beautiful wedding. I mean, wedding. Whoa. Reading. Oh, I have to read to marriage. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm actually seeing here for you guys. Someone here is ready for a commitment. Someone here is ready to move this relationship forward. Speaking of make, moving this relationship forward, we have unmarked trail. This is something you guys have never been before. You guys haven't gotten this far, okay? Um, it's going to feel quite intense. Revelation. Okay. Chaos and conflict clearing here and now. Something's changing. <clears throat> wow. We'll reach out for a personal reading if you guys need it, Libra. I hope this reading helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.